Lay off me, beautiful. I almost got this baby wired. Yeah, it's gonna be dynamite. Whoa! Hey, my TV flipped out. I missed the new Noodles video. Earth Station Putterman is at it again. Oh, Daddy. He's such a dork. He thinks he's a genius. What can you do? Oh, I'll get it. And one, and two. Hi, Gramps. Hey, honeybee. You know what about the U2s? Uh, the band? No, the spy planes. Oh, yeah. I think I saw him on MTV. MTV? Fully. Jesus. What's with this thing, Norton? I'm getting electrocuted here. I tried to warn you, Mr. P. These do-it-yourself 100 are kind of temperamental. Yeah, but I mean, give me a break, guy. I need a hand here. Sorry, Mr. Putterman, no can do. The warranty covers repairs only. You insisted on the 100, Mr. P. I told you they were trouble. Yeah? Well, when I get through with her, she's gonna be the hottest dish in town. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Hi, Dad. How is downtown today? Downtown fooey. I'm sick of downtown. It used to be the place to go, talk to people, disseminate your literature, feel like you were doing some good in the world. Now it's just bums and weirdos and kooks coming out of the woodwork. It's getting so decent, folks won't even stop and talk. Oh, Daddy, don't be so paranoid. Hey, soldier. Got that radar up yet? It's not radar, Pop. It's a satellite dish, you know, a, a TV receiver. Satellite, you say? I wonder if it could pick up recon satellites, keep track of enemy troop movements. Hey, it might be a handy little addition to my home defense unit. Holy tomato. Ah, brain shot. Belly down, soldier. The geeks aren't through with you yet. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, 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 hey. Will you guys grow up? I guess. Hey, Sherm. I got you, Grandpa. Captured your radar, too. Hell of an assault, soldier. Damn fine show of firepower. Say, Mr. P, you mind if I grab another hiney? Look, Norton, if you're gonna hang out and guzzle my hineys, the least you could do is give me a hand here. Sorry, Mr. P, the contract says repairs only. You want repairs? I'll show you repairs. Mr. Putterman. Talk repair. Jesus, what the hell was that, man? I've never seen anything like that before. Stanley, what is going on? What the heck was that noise? Where's my workout show? Hey, it's Mr. Putterman. Check it out. All right, Putterman. What a guy. <laughs> Get ready, you guys. This baby is going to open a whole new dimension in television pleasure. Oh, boy. Oh, Stanley, I'm so excited. Check it out. <laughs> Dino picture. Hey, nice one, Dad. Oh, crazy impressimo. <laughs> pleasure Palace, here we come. Leave it here! No way! Oh. 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 
channel 69, Pop. Stanley! This is grungy! Where's MTV? MTV? No problem. I'm a lion. I'm a leave it, leave it! I love this song! Ugh! He is so nasty. Intellectual decay! Turn it off and rot your brain hey. cells at the International Conspiracy! Hey, 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 hey! Get free! You're gonna break it! You're gonna break it! Get up! Watch it! What about brain rot, Dad? The intellectual conspiracy? I've said it before and I'll say it again. War stories and monster movies are educational. They're survival oriented. They always neutralize the enemy in the end. boy. Squidsville, mommy. God. Oh, he's the coolest boy in school. He's a musical genius. Okay, invite him in. Let's see what he looks like. <laughs> you gotta come in. My parents want to meet you. Oh, wow. What a drag. Ta-da! Everybody, this is O.D. Hello, Mr. Putterman. I'm glad we're finally getting a chance to meet. Uh -huh. Hello, Mrs. Putterman. Mmm, beautiful outfit. Why, thank you, O.D. You're sweet. Mom, can we use the jacuzzi tonight? Oh, uh, not tonight, baby. Your father and I might be swinging. <sighs> Stanley, we have to meet them at the cha-cha room at 8. Oh, I gotta hit that old locker room pronto. <laughs> nice meeting you, O.D. Don't stay out too late. Oh, no, we won't. Well, it was nice meeting you, sir. Hey, no problem, dude. <laughs> Just take care of my little girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What dress are you wearing, babe? Oh, my new night hat. Oh! Woo! Killer! I'll just get my junk, and I'll be right back, okay? No sweat. <laughs> Hey, old dude. You cheating, man. Lizard tail jerky. Want a stick? <laughs> no, thanks, man. I just pigged out. Amazing creature, the lizard. You eat the tail, it don't give a hoot. Just grows another one. And you eat it, too. <laughs> it's mighty darn tasty. <laughs> Hey! 
Hey, little dude. You in the metal? Kiss the boot, man. Kiss the ass, bozo. Jesus, could you believe that, kid? Oh, I thought he was kind of cute. That punk stuff is just a phase, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know, but, but don't they know how ridiculous they look? Puny, puny earthlings. I, Roman, am your new master. Worship my superior intelligence, or I shall wipe you from the face of the planet. Oh, give us a break, Roman. Lose the deep sea helmet guy and quit monkeying around. Medusa's been getting a lot of fan mail lately. Hey, listen, I called that TV guy Norton. He's gonna come by a little later and check out the dish. If it starts acting up again, just turn it off until he gets here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on, get out of here. Words from our sponsors. Announcing Super Television! With a picture so lifelike, it comes right out into your living room. It's a pretty good old movie, ain't it? No. Let's see what's up with the recon satellites. Careful, Grandpa. The Sam Hill. Watch out, Grandpa. You're gonna break it again. like a cool movie. <laughs> hey, he's a gross-looking booger, ain't he? I'd nuke that sucker! <laughs> Something, you ugly bastard. Man, this is the dumbest movie I ever saw. What a bunch of crud. <laughs> All you phone freaks out there, stay tuned. Oh, boy. We're going to open up the call lines and see what you perverts are up to. And Medusa wants to hear some real kinky nightmare. something, boy? You know what the Sam Hill it was? It looked like a monster. There's no such thing as monsters, boy. He was a goddamn burglar. Let's move out! It looked weird. 
Sometimes them burglars wear Halloween masks. They scare the poop out of you. You get the jackets, I'll break out the firepower. First priority is defend the home unit. You got that, boy? Yes, sir. And what I taught you about the 30-round magazine, boy? I remember, Grandpa. Mr. Putterman, I don't have all night here. Remember, boy, the best way to stop the enemy, brain shot. What a tool job, stand the man, put the putt. Can't even get a hiney for the road. Did you hear that? I'll be a god dang son of a gun. They're stealing the radar. What the hey? Stay right where you are. Hey, guys. It's me, Norton. Remember? Norton, the satellite guy. What the heck are you doing out here? Hey, no problem, sir. Uh, Mr. Putterman called me to come check out the dish. I rang the front bell, but nobody was home. We thought we saw a burglar. Did you see anyone? No, not me, guy. <laughs> you wouldn't by any chance have one of them Halloween masks in there, would you? Uh, listen, old fella, I'm just here to check out the dish. So if you don't mind, I'll get back to work. All right, boy, let's go recon the house. Damn, I hate these do-it-yourself 100s. Look, I'll scout the den. You stay put. Keep the front door covered. I'm going with you. Stay put, soldier. Remember your chain of command. Yes, sir. This is disgusting. Got to keep these electronics clean, nut.
there, soldier. I need the police. Police department. Officer Nutke speaking. Hello, police? Who's calling, please? My grandpa. I mean, a monster. I mean, the TV. I mean, Sherman Putterman. Now, Sherman, are you aware that what you're doing is a criminal offense? Huh? There's a law against prank phone calls. No, really, I swear there's a monster on TV. It ain't grandpa and the TV guy. Now, listen here, Sherman Putterman. I'd come out and arrest your ass, but lucky for you, I've got some real police emergencies to attend to. No, please, wait! and so isolated from the city. That's what we love about it. Yeah, it's kind of a nature trip. Puts you in touch with the uh, real you. The cities are so nasty these days, don't you think? Absolutely. The cesspools of civilization. We much prefer to live on the yacht. <gasps> yeah. Uh, say, babe, you know, I think I better check on Norton, see how he's doing with that satellite dish. Excuse me. Oh, is he going to be joining us? Sherman. Mom. Grandpa, a monster! Oh, for Christ's sake, he's having another one of his attacks. Sherman, wake up, Sherman, you're dreaming. No, really, it's in the TV. Um, Stanley, why don't you show Spiro and Cherry around? It'll just be a minute. <laughs> Good idea. Maybe we should leave. Oh, no, no, don't you dare. No, he just needs a pill. <laughs> now, go on, go on. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Please. What are you doing out of bed, Sherman Putterman? The Pleasure Den. Wow. This place is, like, really awesome. Art collectors, eh? Oh, hell yeah. Listen, I know a place where you can get all this stuff real cheap. All right, Norton. Hey, Norton. Looking good, guy. Norton? Hey, uh, listen. 
Listen, I'd invite you in for a beer or something, but we got company now, so take off, okay? I'll check with you later. Appreciate it, babe. It's a cool guy. Service seven days a week. Handles only the best. But hey! On to the Pleasure Dome! To the Pleasure Dome! Yeah. <laughs> Sherman, cut her in. I'm gonna to slap me. you, silly. Why do you have to pull this when we have company? Who left the TV on? No, Mom, there's a monster. Sherman, you're not gonna make me call Dr. Silverman, are you? Mom, look. <gasps> Sherman, what have you done? That's where Grandpa was. Ugh. What a mess. <laughs> he killed him in the TV guy. Honestly, I cannot leave you two alone an hour without some kind of disaster. Magnificent architects, your Greek influenced Roman guy. Roman all the way. <laughs> hey, check it out. Love I got this smile. baby wire. I the sent you by my half a mile. Your spacey personality. It seems to me. Wild. A new wave chicks. <laughs> and this satellite receiver pulls in the fix. weirdest stuff You're from all over the world. Play it cool. I got some rules. Hey, what is this movie? Huh? What, is, what is this movie? I think I read for a part in it one time. Bunch of creeps. People of Earth. You must heed my warning. Destroy your satellite receivers. Dismantle Great your sound, communication huh? systems. Render your television sets inoperable for the next 200 Earth years. It may already be too late. I, I don't know. Geez, it, it looks kind of like that Japanese thing. Uh, you know, whatchamacallit? Uh, you know, where the Martians steal all the Earth women and knock them up. Uh, you know, to, to repopulate Mars. Oh, that sounds kinky. Is that hardcore? Fantastic idea for a movie. Martians diddling the women of the universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it, Spiro. Intergalactic swingers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your god dang horses! I'm changing in here! See? It was all a dream! No, Grandpa's dead! Oh, Sherman! Hope so soon? I'm just taking care of business here. Everything okay, Dad? Okay? Yeah, I guess so. Everything A okay with you? There's a big mess in the den, Dad. Do you know anything about it? Mess? I don't know anything about a mess, dear. It must have been Sherman. I'm just taking care of business. Get to bed, young man. We will talk about this in the morning. No, Mom, really. Something weird's going on, I swear. Sherman Putterman, I am fed up. If you're too big of a sissy to spend the night alone, then you'll just spend the night with Grandpa. No, Mom. No, Get Mom. in there. Mom. Get in. Pleasant dreams, you two. Come on, Mark. Good night.
surprise attack. Grandpa? I hear you, Grandpa. I'm out of there. I'll open up on you. anything exciting. Oh, Stanley was just showing us the wonders of satellite TV. He's a real video pirate, eh? I just really love your house here. It's so, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of weird. Yeah, thank you. We did it ourselves. Oh, uh, hey, babe, is, is everything cool with Sherm? He's in with Dad, doing terrific. You know, you really got a cute kid there. Have you ever thought about putting him in the movies? I mean, I know a really sweet agent. Oh, God, no. Sherman's much too neurotic to be an actor. Yeah, the only thing the kid is interested in is being a soldier. Oh, such a manly pursuit, raping and pillaging, creating life and taking it away like the gods of the ancient Greeks. Oh, hey, guy. I mean, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Comprende? Uh, Spiro, why don't you come help me make the drinks? Excellent idea. I make a wonderful margarita. Very unusual. Go for it. Raquel, do you have ouzo? Uh, no. I don't even know what it is. Too bad. I make a delicious ouzo margarita. So, uh, here we are. Yeah. Is it cool if I get in there? Cool? Babe, it's a perfect 98.6. It's like floating in your mother's womb. Cool. Hey, go for it. That's what it's there for. Okay. Holy tomatoes. It tickles. Are you coming? Yeah. I just gotta change my clothes. <laughs> uh, oh, look, whatever you do, don't touch this. There's something screwy with the waterproofing and... Uh, well, I wouldn't want you to get electrocuted. <laughs> oh, me neither. Are we back? In a flash. Oh, man, that bikini is dying on my... So tell me, Raquel, how long have you and Stanley been swinging? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, we've only tried it a couple of times. It's so hard to meet nice people through the classifieds. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. One never knows what one is getting into. But you and Sherry, you're so sweet, regular folk. Stanley is such a fascinating fellow, a real renaissance man. <laughs> Definitely. He's got a really high IQ. <laughs> People of Earth, please heed my warning. A terrible accident has occurred. I am Pluthar, sanitation captain of the planet Pluton. A stray energy beam containing garbage from my substation may be headed for your solar system and could possibly result in the total annihilation of your species. I'm so terribly sorry for the inconvenience. I went to my hairdresser today to have my hair ratted. He lied. Oh, it's really something to see. We use live rats, you know. The snakes just eat them up. Mm -mm. What 
do you know? It's time for all you phone freaks out there to give us a call. Share your uh, darkest hearts. Meanwhile, back to attack of the something or other. Me here? Who's there? Is... is this Medusa? Well, who's it sound like, kid? Count Dracula? What's your name, I said? Well, this is Sherman. And I have this problem, and nobody believes me. Oh, well, maybe I won't believe you either. Let's hear it. Grandpa and me, we were sleeping. And then we woke up, and there was this monster. And Grandpa thought it was a burglar. And then we saw the TV guy. And the Grandpa disappeared. And the monster went inside the TV. And then Mom came home and locked me in the bomb shelter. So tell me, Sherman, currently under psychiatric care? No, really! Sorry, Sherman. Time's up. So tell me, Raquel, is Stanley a manly man? Oh, oh, God, yes. A real stallion. No, what I mean is, does Stanley take it like a man? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I thought so. And what about you, Spiro? Are you a real manly man? Oh, yes, indeed. Spiro Xeros is the manliest of men. Spiro, do you think that maybe I could have a little sneak preview? Mm? Hey, Raquel, has there been some uh, misunderstanding? What do you mean? Well, I'm Greek, you know. Oh, of course you're Greek. It said so in the classifieds. Oh, don't worry. We're not prejudiced. No, 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 you don't understand. I am into Greek, Greek culture. I like boys. Stanley is such a manly man. <laughs> oh, my God, Stanley's never going to believe this. Girl, how's my main man? Ah, Stanley, how marvelous you look. An old family recipe. Oh. Whoa! What do you got in here, Spiro? Rocket fuel? Getting ready to uh, blast off? Uh, Stanley, <laughs> uh, Spiro, why don't you take Cherry her drink? We'll join you in a few seconds. Excellent idea. See you soon, eh, Tiger? You bet, guy. Yasu! <laughs> Down the hatch. Yeah, mud in your eye. <clears throat> so, uh, what do you think? Do you like them? Uh, well, now, look, they're very nice, but... Yeah, yeah, looking good, too, huh? Are we gonna swing or what? <sighs> you look so serene, my darling. Like... Cleopatra on the Nile. That's Stanley. Hot stuff, huh? Warm, don't you think? Oh. Yeah, what 
is this? Algae? <sighs> Maybe it's a sex lubricant. Huh? How about a quickie? Huh? A little aperitif? Eh? Just a quick little song. Eh? to straighten out old Spiro about the facts of life. Now, Stanley, don't get belligerent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley? Listen, Spiro, we gotta work something out, pal. Where are they? Spiro? Cherry? What the hell did that homo do to the jacuzzi? Maybe Spiro's cocktail made someone sicky poo. Stanley. Yeah. Stanley, it looks like something's in there. No, I hope they didn't electrocute themselves. Wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> Yeah, like 3.5 on the Richter scale. Uh -huh. Army dude, what are you doing up this late? Sherman, are Mom and Dad home yet? Sis, stay here. Something weird's going on. Sherman! What are you doing? There's a monster loose. It ain't Grandpa. I think it just ain't Mom and Dad. Honestly, Sherman, sometimes you are such a nerd. Sis, don't go in there. Sherman, stop it. Yeah, buzz off, dude. I want to party. Are Mom and Dad home yet? They were here. Some other people, too. The monster got them. Sherman, will you shut up about the monster? I'm going to make you take your pills. Pills? What color? Follow me. All right, dude. Pill freak. Don't worry. He'll be asleep in five minutes. He has these attacks sometimes. It's like sleepwalking or something. So what's the deal, 
Sherm, where's the big monster? Shh. Where's mom and dad? Where's Gramps? Kids, you do your thing, we do ours. Mother, that is so disgusting. Night, night now, kids. Try and keep it down, will you? Thanks. Bark me out. Have any of you seen Gramps? Right here, honeybee. Just taking care of business. Oh, Gramps, that is totally sicko. was a monster. That's okay, Sherman. Someday you'll understand. Earthlings, please. You must heed my warning. Its appetite is insatiable. Its curiosity is boundless. Its strength knows no limits. It will continue to absorb all life forms. Sherman, will you please buzz now? Go to bed or something. We want to hang out. Hey, dig this stupid movie. It's just this one dude talking. Earthlings, please. You must heed my warning. He's talking about the monster. Will you shut up about the monster? Go to bed. There are no such things as monsters. Mutating endlessly until your planet is a barren wasteland. <laughs> Right in my 
my studs and cooled out. This dude's into metal. He's so barfy. He is not. He's cool. <laughs> You guys remember that movie? You know, the one about the little space guy. Made you cry like a butthole. E.T. stupid. Yeah. Okay, stand back, guys. Careful, baby. Easy, dude. Okay, dude. Easy now, big monster dude. <laughs> Come on now. Whoa! Easy, dude. Kind of music rots your brain. Now, this is my band. I wrote this song. I had a 
date the other night. Poor fellow. I turned all the lights off and I whispered to him, whatever you do, honey, don't look at me. One glance and you're hard as a rock. Needless to say, the poor guy peeped. Now you see why I have this thing for phone freaks. Hey, guys. Come here a minute. Be right back, okay, monster? What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna make a million bucks. Huh? huh? Don't you see? This is, like, amazing. I mean, a monster from outer space, and, like, it's like we own him. Oh, yeah, rude. I mean, that guy probably doesn't even know what money is. Hey, wait a minute, Bozo. Who said anything about you? I'm the one who saw him first. Grandpa and me discovered it. He came through our TV. He's our property. Hey, Spud. I'm the one who communicated with him first. He takes orders from me, so watch it, dude. Come on, you guys. Don't be so selfish. Why can't he belong to all of us? Yeah. Come on, dude. This is like a miracle or something. There'll be plenty of dough for all of us. What about Mom and Dad? Shouldn't we tell them? Forget Mom and Dad. We don't have to share anything with them. They wouldn't believe us anyway. So, like, partners, OK? Partners. OK, Sherm? Yeah, I guess so. <gasps> Oh, cool, cool. You guys are really cool, man. So, first thing, I think we have to get him on TV. Well, it's time for Medusa's beauty sleep now, kitty. So, till next week, Medusa hopes you have some real. Nightmares. <laughs> Nightmares. I know. Medusa. Maybe she'll help us. Yeah, dude. She understands monsters. Let's call her. But no more partners, okay? Here, let me do the talking. No, I've already called her once tonight. She knows me. You told her about the monster? Yeah. But she didn't believe me either. Whoa! What's the matter, dude? Whoa! I hope this guy's house trained. Uh, for Christ's sake, is somebody gonna get me out of this thing? Oh, Medusa, you were wonderful tonight. You were absolutely brilliant. Come on, come on, come on! Hey, Ella, give me a brew and uh, give me a smoke. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, thanks, pal. Show's over, sucker. Hello, Medusa. This is Sherman again. Remember me? Sherman? <laughs> the schizo. Well, you know that monster I told you about? He's really here. We're teaching him the talk, me and my sister. And me, man, O.D. Riley. Well, listen, Sherman, I've had a long night, so uh, call me next week, huh? We'll chat it up. But wait! Hey, hey. Medusa? Well, who's this? Your split personality? This is Susie Putterman, Sherman's sister. Business manager for the monster from outer space. So tell me, Susie, is your whole family a little cuckoo? Please, Medusa, this is serious. He's a real live monster. We want to know how to get him on TV. Hey, listen, kid. You want a guest spot talk to the Letterman people? Medusa's strictly solo. Well, if you excuse me, I gotta hit some parties. Please, Medusa. I'm sure if you saw him, you'd be interested. Oh, yeah? Yeah! And we're having sort of a party for him here, right now. A real fun party. Party, huh? You can just come and take a look. No obligation. He's gonna be a big sensation. He talks in everything. If you don't help us, someone will. Oh, yeah? We're on Cutterman Lane, off Lonesome Canyon. The end of the road. 
Well, like I said, kid, I got some other parties to hit, so uh, don't count on me anytime soon. Uh, bye now. She coming? Who knows? She had a crummy attitude. Hmm. <laughs> That's okay, guy. There's always something else on. That's what's so cool about TV. Survival Hey, hold your horses, turkey. What are you doing? Hey, man, nothing. This guy just doesn't dig commercials. Be careful, you guys. Okay? Dude, don't be so impatient, butthole. What's your name? What planet are you from? Doesn't know what you're talking about. It's just a monster. I'll get it. It's her already? No way! Hey, hey, don't let any strangers in. I have a warrant here for the arrest of Sherman Putterman. Huh? Hi, guy. Hi, monster. Hi, monster. Hey, it's that Four same late. dude again. Too late. Its appetite is uncontrollable. The slightest excitement can trigger a monstrous eating binge. Bitch, if anything, he's talking about the monster. <laughs> I am your friend. Kids, come back here. You come out of there, I'm gonna come in after you. Damn you kids, you... TV went crazy. Where's OD? It ate him. Oh my God! What are we gonna do? We're gonna blow his butt to kingdom come. Huh? First, secure the perimeter. radio. 
no, we've got to evacuate Mom and Dad first. Wow, these grenades are pretty neat. Maybe I killed it already. Didn't sound too dead when it ate that cop. Yeah, well, maybe I wounded it. in here? Mommy? Mommy? Are you okay? Set up for surprise attack. Attack! I'm so sure! The hand grenade didn't even phase him! Monster, it's me, Sherman.
children, please. I mean you no harm. I am Pluthar, here to save you. Hey, it's the space guy from TV. What do you want from us? Please, Earthling, there is little time. I've come to exterminate the hungry beast. Like what is going on around here? What is the hungry beast? On my planet, the hungry beast is a house pet, similar to your earthly dogs and cats. But they are highly unstable, prone to mutate wildly and eat everything in sight. When mutation occurs, they must be exterminated at once. You mean like he was somebody's pet? Oh, yes. They're very lovable before they mutate. Okay, but like, how did it get here, in our house? In the extermination process, they are converted to pure energy, beamed to the farthest reaches of the universe. It's really a very safe form of waste disposal. Yeah, but, but like, what did it do with Mommy and Daddy and Odie and Grant and the TV guy? The beast has ingested Earthlings. Oh, dear heavens. I'll lose my position for this. Who cares about your stupid position? What about them? Well, we do have a process. If I can take the beast back alive, which isn't likely, the victim's genes could be extracted from the hungry beast tissue and grown in special serum cultures. You mean like clones? Clones of mommy and daddy? No, no, they'd be the real mommy and daddy. Of course, they'd have to live in special aquariums. Please, children, lay down your weapons and take me to the beast. Very well. Let's go. Son of a bitch. Medusa! Not so fast, asshole! Yeah! Ugly bastard!
make it snappy. Come on, come on, come on.